Today I want to do something a little bit different. Um, I want to talk about ways that you can do things creatively to solve problems that you might run across. So a couple weeks ago our refrigerator went out and this is the one that we got. It has the same exterior dimensions as, as the old one but when uh, we were looking online and sure enough when we got it delivered what we found was our old refrigerator had three drawers but there was no shelf there. So we've kind of like shoved everything in there. So when I looked online how much does a shelf cost? It's $140. And when I look online with how much a drawer is and it's $90, I said, hmm, I wonder if I can do something different. So I knew this was the, the case when I started, so I took all of the shelves and drawers out of our old refrigerator before they took it away to see if I could make something work uh, depending on how that one fit with this one. So let's go see what we got. <laughs> So here we are in the workshop and here's all the pieces that I took from the other refrigerator in case anything would be useful. Um, in most cases, most of it's not useful, but I do have a few drawers and I do have a few shelves. So I'm going to grab uh, a shelf and a drawer and we'll go back inside and see if we can see if anything works. So now we've cleared out the area so we can see what we have. So this is one of the drawers. And I would like it to go right there. And they already have a shelf there, so I think I'm good with that right there. And then this one is the uh, one of the shelves. There'll be a glass plate here, but I wanted to just see it for testing. And what I see here is that it's, it's not quite as wide. If I can figure out how to make this a little bit wider so that it's snug in there, which I think I can do with what we have left over there, then I think this will be a good shelf too. What I want to do is figure out a way to get this a little bit wider so that when it fits in the fridge it does well. What we have here are some of those you might recognize they go on the freezer section and they have these little tabs here. And I'm thinking if I can cut one off uh, on each side that's the right width, then when I stick it into the fridge then it will... It will <laughs> So I can put these wedges on the shelf and then they'll be able to be a little thicker than they were before. Alright, we have, uh, I'm going to do this side, the two wedges, and I use this E6000 um, adhesive. It works well for plastic on plastic, so uh, you know, same old just like in grade school. Put it on the parts that match that are going to be put together and then I looked inside to see where I need to put this and I need to put it here for the front for a little uh, ledge that's in the refrigerator and then I need to put the second one towards the back and then I'll do the same on the other side and then these will just rest on the ledge that's in the refrigerator. Okay, so we'll let this dry, we'll do the other side, and then I'll show you what it looks like. I realize you're not going to have exactly the same thing and exactly the same problem, but what I want to encourage you is to be curious and to think about things that, um, that you might not have thought about. So now we're back in the kitchen, you can see we have the the pieces glued on each side, so let's see how it fits. We have the drawer already in there. If you don't look at the color of the handle, it looks like it belongs there. And now I'll slide this shelf in all the way to the back. And man, that looks good. Now I have three drawers and I have an extra shelf, um, and I just saved almost $250. So I hope you can find this. Uh, idea helpful, maybe spark some uh, ideas in your house. Um, so I will shut the door. And now the fridge is chilling. So if you have any more questions, ask Dad again. <laughs>